Well, we're back in action. Uh, the purpose of this next test will be to compare the break that we had on an identical twin sling in a vertical hitch. Rated capacity was 4,800 pounds, and of course the break that you witnessed and that is certified by the independent facility uh, will be certified at 37,000 pounds. There's a little close-up on our branded leather tag. And what we've done, as you can see now, is to deliberately inflict a form of man-made damage, which is a knot. This sometimes is a form of infield repair that men think is valid and is also used to shorten slings occasionally. And uh, it is also used to uh, adjust the length of slings. And it's a dangerous practice, and we're going to go ahead and see what kind of an effect it has upon the breaking strength of this sling. Keep in mind, rated vertical capacity of 4,800 pounds. Destruction test value on the prior twin was 37,000 pounds. Let's see what we get now. occurred exactly where the distortion occurred and basically just fused and melted away. What was the value on that break again? 25,000 pounds. 25,000 pounds versus the 37,000 pounds that we obtained on the prior break. I guess that pretty well confirms that uh, when you not twist or kink slings that it has a profound effect upon the uh, ultimate braking strength and correspondingly upon the applied rated capacity. We're going to go ahead and set up for our next test.